You are speaking English powerfully, fluently in six months. Fluent in six months. Is it possible? Can you do it? Can you speak English fluently, powerfully in six months? Six months from today? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Yes, you can. Let's talk about what this means to be fluent and how to do it. First, let's just talk about this word fluent. Fluent in six months. Fluent? What does this word fluent mean? Well, fluent has the same root as the word fluid. Fluid means flowing or moving like water. Okay, water like movement, right? So if you think of water, think of a river or a stream. How does it move? Right, it moves effortlessly. That's why I use the name Legendary Listens. Water moves effortlessly and smoothly. Right. That's how water flows or moves. So fluent or fluency, we're talking about a smooth movement. Now, if we're talking about English, what are we talking about? It's the smooth movement of words, of phrases, of sentences, of the language. It means you speak in a way that's fairly effortless and smooth. The opposite of fluent would be to speak uh, like, um, speak like this and uh, write. That's the opposite of fluent. It means the words are not coming out smoothly. They're not coming out easily. They're not coming out naturally, right? That's not fluent. So just we're talking specifically about speaking. When we say fluent or fluency, we're talking about speaking and how the words come out. That's the meaning of fluency. That is the real meaning of fluency. So flowing like water, I often try to use the phrase speak powerfully. So again, you're confident when you have speak. The words come out fairly easily. They flow out. This does not mean let's talk about what fluency does not mean. It does not mean perfection, right? If you're fluent, you're conversationally fluent. It means you're fluent when you have a normal conversation. You're not perfect. You will make mistakes. You'll make grammar mistakes. You might make some pronunciation mistakes. Hey, I make mistakes sometimes still. So you're gonna make mistakes. It's not perfection. Number two, fluency does not mean like a native speaker, okay? So when you speak fluently, it does not mean you speak at the same level as I do. I learned English from when I was a baby. So it does not mean like a native speaker. That's a much higher level of English speaking. That's very, very advanced. Okay, you don't need that advanced level to speak fluently for your words to come out easily, for you to communicate effectively. Okay, fluency is sort of the first level of communicating effectively, powerfully. The words come out fairly easily. What else? Do you need a huge amount of vocabulary to speak fluently? No, you don't. Because again, we're talking about conversational fluency. So when you are fluent and you're conversationally fluent, what does it mean? It means you speak and communicate fairly easily, effectively, powerfully in normal conversations, normal everyday conversations, normal everyday topics. So 
not talking about special topics like economics or business or something from school. No, every day, you know, talking about the weather, talking about your feelings, how you feel, talking about what you did today or yesterday, or what you're going to do tomorrow. You know, buying a train ticket, going shopping. Those everyday normal conversations that we have, for that, you only need about 3,000 words of vocabulary. Some people say less, some people say a little more. I'll just give you the average, around 3,000 words. That's not a huge amount. It's not small, it's not tiny, but it's not huge. So if you can use 3,000 words fairly easily in natural phrases, you're fluent. You're conversationally fluent. Are you finished with English at that point? No, you're not. You still have a long way to go if you want to be like a native speaker close to a native, but you can certainly be fluent in six months. So what it means is you speak powerfully, naturally, smoothly, fairly smoothly, with mistakes. You will definitely be making mistakes still after six months. Don't worry about it. As long as people understand you, as long as you're communicating well, you're fluent. Let's talk about the next part of this. Fluent in six months. Six months. What do we mean by that? Six months? Well, honestly, if we talk about six months, it's not talking about months is not really the best way to talk about time for your goal of speaking English in six months. Because you can imagine. Imagine we have two students. One student only listens to English one hour per week, and the other one listens to English 10 hours per day. After six months, there's gonna be a huge difference between these two. If someone only does one hour per week, they will not be fluent in six months. It's not enough time. Really, we should talk about hours rather than days or weeks or months or years. It's the hours. It's the number of hours you spend learning English that's important. So when we're talking about getting fluent in six months, there are two important things. There's quantity. It means the amount, the amount of hours especially. And there's quality. Quality, it's how you use those hours every day. Because how you learn is also very, very important. You could spend five hours a day learning English, but do it in a way that's not effective, low quality. So you need both quantity and quality to achieve this goal. Let's First, talk about the quantity. How many hours do you need? How many hours do you need to become fluent, conversationally fluent? Well, it's different for every person. I can't give you an exact number. I'll give you a very general number. Let's say about 700 hours. About 700 hours of quality, effective English learning, study, practice, training, about 700 hours. Now, for some people, it will be more, might be a thousand, and for some, it might be less. So we'll just say, as a general average guess, about 700 hours. Now, here's some good news. You already have some hours, right? You probably learned English in school for many years. That was low quality. A lot of those hours were not very good, but still, it's better than nothing. Okay, if you learned English for five years in school, 
you at least learned some vocabulary through memorization. Maybe you can't use it very effectively. Maybe your head is filled with grammar and you're confused. You're not fluent yet, but it's still better than zero. So you still have some hours already. That's good news. That will help you. It means you don't quite need 700. Maybe you only need 500 to get fluency, which is great. Good news for you. The other part of this, that's quantity. That's the amount of hours you need in six months. The next part is quality. It's how you do it. It's very important, as I said. In school, low, low, low quality. You might learn English in school for a thousand hours, but the problem is you're memorizing lists of vocabulary that you quickly forget. You're memorizing long lists of grammar that you can't use when you speak. It's too complicated. You forget. You're taking tests. You're stressed. You're bored a lot of the time in class. You're not really focused. You're kind of bored when you're doing your homework. You're bored. You're half asleep. So you might have a thousand hours in school, but it does not really equal a thousand quality hours. Maybe it only equals about 100 hours really because it's so low quality. So you want to get the highest quality from every minute, from every hour that you learn English. That is what the legendary listen system does. So what do I mean by quality? Number one, power. It means it's a powerful way to learn. It means you are focused and concentrating every minute. So if you're listening to English, but you're kind of falling asleep sitting at your desk, that's low quality. That's no good. You're wasting a lot of your time. You need to be alert. Your brain needs to be awake. You need to be focused. You need to be listening carefully to every word, every phrase. That's the highest quality. Alert, awake, maximum concentration. It needs to be understandable. This is something else for quality English learning. You must understand it. If you don't understand it, you're wasting your time. So this is the problem. If you're a lower level and you listen to a movie or a TV show, you're wasting your time. It's too advanced. You can't understand anything. So most of your time is completely wasted. You're watching two hours or an hour of TV, but really you're getting almost no quality English learning. So you must understand it. It can be a little difficult, but not too difficult. Understandable is super important. That's part of quality. Next, you need to have some emotion, positive, even negative sometimes, but especially strong positive emotions will help you learn much faster. That's also part of quality. It's why I use stories a lot in legendary listens. Just think about it. When you learn something with no emotion, just kind of flat, it's much easier to forget. But if you learn something with excitement or energy or passion or sometimes even fear or humor, laughter, you are more likely to remember it and to remember it a long time. So it needs to be emotional and energetic. Emotion and energy go together. So again, a low energy, low quality way to study English is to sit at your desk 
listening, or just reading a textbook. Right. It's low energy. Your mind starts to go to sleep. You're wasting a lot of your time. But if you're up, if you're moving, if your heart's beating, you got energy going through your body, you're feeling good, you're smiling, you're awake, your brain wakes up. Everything is much more effective. Everything you do, you will remember better, you will learn faster. This is so important. You need the highest quality time to achieve this goal. You don't try your best, and it's kind of up and down day to day. It's different. A champion like an ideal, every moment, every day, every training session, it's 100% effort all the time. 100% energy. 100% passion and emotion. Every minute, every hour, every week, every month of training, the emotional quality, the energy, is so much higher than just regular, normal people. And of course, what's the result? Teacher sees super fast improvement. He's a world champion. Normal people, still improving, but slow. Slow improvement. I'm getting a little better at jujitsu, but it's very slow. Most people, you know, they improve, but slowly, nothing like a champion. Normal people will never become world champions. We can learn from this example because we see this in all sports, in all different skill areas. This same idea of quantity and quality, that's what determines the amount of success you have, how powerful your results are, and how fast your improvement is. So you, I want you to be a powerful champion. I want you to be the teacher of English learning. You can be a champion English speaker. You can speak English powerfully and fluently in six months. Six months from now, you can do it. You will do it when you use the legendary listens. The highest quantity you can get, and of course, most importantly, the highest quality. Every single time you listen to English, learn English, train with English, quality, quality, quality. That's what Legendary Listens is about. Now, another important point. Don't let anyone else tell you that you cannot do this. Don't let anyone else tell you that you can't do anything in life. Not just about English, anything. There are always people out there who will tell you, you can't do it. It can't be done. You can't be fluent in six months. You can't make a lot of money. You can't start your own business. You can't, you can't, you can't, right? There's always these negative people in life. I promise you, anytime you try to do something amazing, anytime you try to succeed, anytime you push yourself, there will be people telling you, you can't do it. There will be people trying to make you feel weaker, right? I don't know if it's jealousy. I don't know if they're disappointed in their own life. I don't know why they do it, but they do. There are just a lot of negative people in the world who will criticize you, who will tell you, you can't do it. You shouldn't do it all the time. Don't listen to these people. Champions do not listen to negative people. Champions just ignore those people. See, my job is the opposite. I always call myself an English coach, not a teacher. I think teachers are too negative. I just don't like the word teacher. Coach, right? A coach. My job is to be your coach. And as your coach, I want to destroy doubt. I want to destroy weakness, okay? I want to build your power. 
I want to build and increase your confidence. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to dream bigger. I want you to dream more powerfully. I want you to believe that you can do it, that you will do it. Whatever you want in life, certainly English, but anything else that you want in your life, you can do it. It is possible. You can be powerful in your life. You can speak English powerfully. You can be fluent in six months. You can eventually become like a native speaker if that's what you want. You can do it. You do have the power. Trust yourself. Don't listen to all the people saying, no, 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 you can't, you can't. No, you can and you will. Will it always be easy? No, but you're strong. You will find the strength. You will find the power. You can and you will be a champion. Just believe in yourself. That is my message to you. Think like a champion, act like a champion, train like a champion with English, and you will speak English powerfully and fluently in six months. Maybe less, maybe more. It's your decision. You can and you will do it. Be a champion and trust yourself and go to learn English with legendary listens.